Hi, it's Carrie. In today's 5 Minute Friday, I'm going to show you how to export references from a bibliographic database called Scopus into EndNote. And I'm currently running version 20.2.1. I don't have the latest update as of September 2022, but things should work the same. I am currently in a blank library, which is what EndNote calls its files. And in order for you to do the same, you will go to File, New, and you can name the file. And once you've named it and saved it, you will have a blank library. Now I'm going to go over to Scopus, which is a subscription database that I have access to through my university, and do a simple search. I'll click Search, and we get 34 results. Now, if we wanted to get these into EndNote, we can select a few based on maybe some screening that we're doing by reading titles. And when we do that, we can come up here to the top, click Export, and choose RIS Format, and just make sure that it says we've chosen to export the four documents. Now, if you wanted other information to come along with it, and I usually do, you can select bibliographical information, abstract and keywords, funding details, and other information. So this is all the information that Scopus has available for you, and so it's probably a good idea to take whatever you can. Let's close this. If we wanted to take the whole set, let me unselect the things that I had selected. And we'll just go up here to the top and say all. Make sure it's all and not the page. And then we'll say export. And again, just choose RIS format and take all the data. We'll click export and we will get a file. The file should go into our downloads folder. And we will go over here to EndNote and say file, import file. Now the last time I imported I used PubMed data and used a PubMed import filter. This time we have to fix that. So let's choose the file and we will go up to our downloads and choose the Scopus file, scopus3.ris. Open. And here we have to choose Reference Manager RIS. It's a pretty standardized format for bibliographic data. So it's RIS file. And we don't have to worry about duplicates right now. We don't have to worry about translation. So we will import. We should get 34 references. And if you click on any one of them, they will show up with all the data that we captured over here on the right. So we have a lot of information available. We can close this window and see everything in a list format. So that's importing from Scopus. If that's what you're doing, good luck. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.